Hello, adorables. Welcome, everyone, to my channel. So, as you can see, there's something wrong with this picture. There sure is. I did it again. I got mad, and I just, I just threw them down. Once I realized what I was doing, I just threw them down. Because they were all up in here. This, this gray, I figure I'll just do her hair, and I'll bring it in. And I'll make them like strands coming across. And light her down the center like a part. And put some highlights in it. I said, I'll try that. And then it was gray. And then I, I, I was like, no, nah, that's jacked up. Because her face is all jacked up. Then I'm, I'm not even paying attention to the shading in her arms. And this is supposed to be her chest. And it's all these colors. And I'm, I'm like, you know what? Just You can't do it anymore. You can't do it anymore. This isn't what you bargained for. You don't want to do this. No. That's not, that's not okay. So I will notify GBFKE and I will tell them they need to pull this from their inventory. Like, don't sell this to anyone. Don't sell that to anyone. And I would be nervous about buying this particular image from other companies as well because I don't know where they're going. Mm. So that fairy girl, I've seen her on other companies' sites. The green fairy girl that I did that was jacked up. Now I've seen her on Kimu for $5.25. Same thing that I got. I don't know how it's color charted. It might be the inventory that... What company was that? New Craft Day. It might be the inventory that they pulled as being sold at Kimu. I don't know. I don't know how all this stuff works, but you got this product. Other companies are always buying stuff that, and then they try to sell it off and they could break it up in groups and sell crates to this person and this person or pallets or something, you know, however, however they do like with, like they do with returns, you know, because if the, if the returns are coming back one after the other, then just pull the inventory and sell it like it is in as, as a whole, you know? So I don't know where they end up, but wherever this came from, it sucks so bad that I'm not doing it to myself. Yesterday, oh my God, yesterday, <sighs> yesterday I went to Walmart. Now I got two big curtain rods, right? Each one came with one bracket. You need two brackets. So I took one out of the other one so I could have one complete curtain rod and brackets and I returned the one with no brackets to the store well that went fine until I went back in the back I couldn't find any more of the original that I bought it was other kind so I took it up front and I said can we swap out the tools inside of here the the brackets and can I buy the other one back with those brackets so she called her manager over the manager is like no you can't open this and take and buy that I was like then you're losing a sale because I'm willing to buy this you know because we're looking at customer service here seeing a legit problem and, and I explained to her how they came with one. She says, I should have took them both back, is what she told me. I should have brought them both back the way they were. Are you freaking kidding me? This 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 woman is a regular freaking woman that probably live around here somewhere, just going to work, doing her job, and she doing that? That's customer service? Are you out of your freaking mind? I don't know where we live in. It's just like she's a freaking robot for the company or something. Like she was Walmart herself. My God, multi-billion dollar company. And you can't take it upon yourself to make a judgment as far as, hey, these are both the same freaking price. Why don't we swap that out and let her buy that one back as customer service? There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, but then to stand there and tell me I should have brought both of them back if they only had one bracket inside? Are you out of your freaking mind? Where's it going after it leaves that store? It's just to give you a hard time, man. She high on power. Oh, my God. That little bit of power. Oh, I manage a Walmart. My God. My God. Be real, woman. You see the state of the world, and that's what she's telling me. So, after we left Walmart... 
um, I had uh, refund cards for Applebee's. So my friend took me out to Applebee's and we ate some kind of chicken french fries and it's supposed to have bacon in it. I didn't even see the bacon. But we got that each and then um, I brought a hamburger home. Blah, blah, blah. When I come home, I went to bed and I stayed in bed because this was on my table. I, I, I didn't want to deal with it. I didn't want to come in here and start deciding, okay, which of the colors are going to go in here? So I'm going to take them from what is here, what is naturally in the hair here, and I was just going to blend them in here. And then when I hit that gray today, but I didn't want, I didn't want to see this at all. I didn't want to diamond paint at all because I just, I was fed up. And that's how it goes. You know, it'll do that to you. It kind of broke me because I'm heavily invested in it with all these crystals. I paid good money for all them crystals and I'm going to see them go. I did pull off my little flowers. So, I saved them. <laughs> that's it. Yeah, I don't care. I got I to gotta cut my losses there. It's too much mental aggravation but it's all right i will notify the company and i'm sure they're going to pull this they can't sell this everything else from gbfkae has come fine i have enjoyed everything that i have done everything i've got their products on my walls they have great products not this so if you receive this no matter what company you get it from if you receive it and it looks like this you contact them asap and you tell them look we got to work something out i want a different choice you know take pictures of it do you really want me to send this back you want to pay for a return shipping fine so make sure when you when you buy these things Make sure you save your original packaging because some will tell you they must be an original packaging. Otherwise, you're going to eat it. You're going to be just as frustrated as me. Although I didn't pay for it. I paid for these drills. And I'm really sorry to see this go. This is one of the most beautiful things I've worked on except for her skin and her hair. But like the image and the way I was blinging it up, I think it was going great. Hum dog. It was going good until I got tired of deciding which is going to go here, which is going to go there. And I decided to do color blocking and I ended up with the Tin Man face and head. Yeah, that would have looked all right. Just throw black in everywhere. Just, just pull them all off and pick a brown. It's too late. I'm not playing. So she's done. Unacceptable. I invested two full days into that and two full days of not diamond painting because I didn't want to look at it and think about it. It was just too much, too complicated. It's too much. That's not what I diamond paint for. I want to chart it properly. I want quality drills. I don't care if it's budget friendly or not. You know, there are little tiny things that you could overlook with diamond painting when you when you buy in budget friendly, but some things you cannot, and I cannot, I cannot go into that. So okay, ending, ending discussion on that. It will be fine. Let's look at the cat. Okay, Dobby. So um, unfortunately. I'm having problems with the contest. Um, I did a contest for a company. And the only reason that I did that promo offer, because I don't cross-stitch. The only reason I did it was I could give it away to someone. And I would pay the shipping to send it to them. But not if they lived outside the continental United States. And I said, you could pick anybody that, that you know, like online friends, you know, I, you could give it to them and, and that would be fine. So the person who won is from Denmark and she offered to help with the shipping with the ports down. East coast ports are down in the United States 
And it's going to be that while. And every day that they're down is equivalent to falling a month behind. Our stores have already stocked up for this stuff. They bought extra stuff in preparation for this. So it's going to be a good minute. You know, and they've been warning us about food shortages. Well, that's the produce, baby. The produce ain't coming in no more. That's our fresh stuff that we need every day delivered, right? So there's a lot of things we won't be able to find in the stores. Anyway, with that down, so much going on. Listen how much they want it. For just the cross stitch to be sent. $33 and change. How about no? And... The winner offered to pay for part of the shipping. It's still no. It's still going to be no. Because I can't justify $33 to send like an $18 product somewhere. When I'm sure she's got access to online stores for cross stitch. And she could do a whole lot better for $33. Right? Because that's just. Mm -mm. I couldn't do it. I was going to just go ahead and send it, and then the, it. there was a little time passing as I was waiting for things, because I had to fill out a form uh, for, <clears throat> what do you call it, imports, customs. Yeah, so I had to fill a form out. So by the time I got done filling out the form, I started thinking, you know, this just doesn't make sense. This doesn't make any sense to spend that money when, like, a lot of people are hurting for money. I couldn't justify it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So, she is entitled to choose a, a friend or, or somebody, you know, YouTube or Facebook or anybody uh, that she knows and is friendly with enough to say, you know, I won a prize, but it's only going to be delivered in the States. So, are you interested in that? And then, they, they just get perks for being a friend, you know? It always feels good to give something away. And I feel bad. I was going to spend the money. It's not about the money. It's about paying that money for something that is not worth it. I just can't do that. My brain says no. And says so that does not compute. I'm not doing it. It's not about the $33. Because then I was I was thinking, well, I could get her some from Timu and send it direct. And it's like, that's not what you were doing. The whole point was it's the cross stitch that you got from the company for the sole reason of giving it away. So you still got cross stitch. So why, if that's what you were doing in a contest, why are you spending money to, when you could, I clearly stated, it's just a no. It's a no. And I don't mean to be ignorant or, or uncooperative with that. But that wasn't what I was doing. It was the, it was about the cross stitch. Mailed in the continental United States because I don't want the what it does to my brain right now. All this confusion in there of what I should do, what I want to do. And my brain is arguing with myself over the stuff. No. Nah. Bottom line comes down to, I don't think so. Unless she wants to pay the whole $33. I don't think so. Because it ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. It ain't worth it. So, I suggest she just pick somebody. I hope she does. I forget. What was her name? I forget. I forget. And, um, maybe her name is Helen. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. But... You just got to pick somebody else to give it to. It ain't that big of a deal. It's not like I've got a thousand dollar item sitting here. I'm going to send it to you. You know, it's, it's, it's not like that. What's out there? Nothing. A tree. Settle down. There's people out there. All right, so it's kind of dreary news, you know. I don't have anything really good to say, um, except that I had a hamburger for lunch, <laughs> and I didn't have to cook it. Uh, I think that's about the end of the video. So, 
uh, just a, a run of bad luck here. A little bit of negative energy going on, I guess. And you'll have that. Maybe it's the planetary alignments or you know, whatever is written in the stars. I don't know. But it's not my happy, happy, joy, joy energy, is it? No. So, <laughs> so it's something other than that. Okay. And uh, I want to thank everybody for, for watching this video and listening to me. And if you watched the last video I made, thank you on that one, too. Because sometimes I just be puff, puff, puff. And, you know, it was 3 o'clock in the morning. And I'm like, my wheels were spinning. I'm thinking all these thoughts. And if I don't do that, I'm as good as 86 what not that oh, um unalive yeah i'm as good as unalive if i stop thinking and that's really the only thing that my brain wants to entertain itself with and think about other than diamond painting or the dogs or something it's it's kind of like that ain't right <laughs> what the hell is this i don't know i get in gripe mode sometimes and i'm just griping about everything and ain't nothing right and I just let myself go into that fantasy and that sci-fi because what I thought was real I know it's not well it's different everything is different than the way I perceived it for so long and then I just had one day it was just like boom a ton of bricks and life was not that anymore and so I walked away from that, and the new perspective I have on reality, that's what it's about now. Because there's no going back. There's no going back. So thanks for everyone who listens. And Pepsi did announce that they were putting human fetus cells in their orange juice and Mountain Dew. That's a fact. I remember the articles. I was researching a lot of that way back, a few years back. So that's true. It's not slander or defamation of character or anything like that. It's true. And so you can't argue that. <laughs> You're just simply stating facts. All right. All right. Um, thanks. Hang in there. There'll be a good video coming eventually. I don't know when. I hope you are entertained. Peace out and God bless my adorables.